Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you, Sagittarius. If you are here and you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take just a second and give me a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Only take a second, guys. Just hit the thumbs up if you like it. All right, Sagittarius. Let's get your current energy, Sagittarius. Spirit, give me clear and precise messages for Sagittarius, please. Show us what we need to see. Show us what we need to see. Messages for our highest and best. Sagittarius. All right, Sag, let's see what's going on. Let's get it. Messages for Sagittarius, please. Keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type or your usual expectation. We have the honeymoon card. This could indicate travel or this could indicate that you're leaving one relationship and heading into another. We have two cards that went on the floor. We have retreat that can also indicate more travel, Sagittarius. But again, this could represent an ending. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture and keep an open mind. On the bottom of the deck, we have separation. That's more separation energy. Hold on one guy, um, one second guys. I had a card from another reading fall on the floor. Let me get it just in case I use that deck for your reading. All right. All right, messages for Sagittarius. I see adversity and loneliness. So some of you, this separation, you know, it was hard. It was hard. You guys may have been um, separated for a while and now you're feeling lonely. Some of you may be ready to get back out there and date. That could be why Express Your Love is coming up. You may be getting ready to meet somebody who's a little different than what you're used to, guys. Maybe used to, uh, you may, it, it may be someone in a different country. It could be someone that speaks a different language. It could be someone of a different race. It could be someone of the same sex. It just, there's something going to be different about this person. All right. We have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You guys have change in your energies. We have fear. You're afraid of something. What are you afraid of? Are you afraid of change? I'm afraid of change. Sagittarius, you don't ever be afraid of change, guys. Once things stop changing, that means we're dead. I have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. For some of you, you may need to heal. You may need to forgive someone or forgive yourself. We have death. I just said if we <laughs> if nothing changes, we're dead. There's death. That doesn't mean an actual death, guys. It says, I am learning that endings are really beginnings. So when something comes to an end, guys, that is an opportunity for something new and better to come in. We have freedom. Wanting to be free. Wanting something to be over. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. This is you. This is about you taking control of your life. And doing the things that make you happy. I have health coming out. You know, some of you could be taking better care of yourself. Eating better. Exercising at this time. Give me one more card. Sagittarius. Well, thank you. I have guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. This is about self-forgiveness, guys. What are you feeling guilty for? If you've done anything in the past, you know, you have to move on. You have to move on. We're not perfect and we all make mistakes. 
you have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So there's an energy here of needing to be focused, needing to be focused because you have some big changes coming in, Sagittarius. All right, let's see why these messages are here. See if we can figure this out. Sagittarius. Definite ending here. Definite change. Sagittarius. I saw the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands. So if you guys have been sitting in the energy of stagnancy, guess what? The momentum is getting ready to shift. Things are getting ready to heat up. I'm hearing, it's getting hot in here. So take off all my clothes. I am getting too hot. I wanna take my clothes off. It's getting hot in here. So take off all my clothes. I am getting too hot. I want to take my clothes off. I think that's Nelly. I think that's Nelly, y'all. Hot in here. It's getting hot in. That's how the song starts. It's getting hot in here. So hot in. Ah! <laughs> All right. Messages for Sagittarius. Okay, guys. We have the nine of coins in reverse. chariot in reverse mm, these cars popping out ten of cups in reverse we have the four of pentacles ten of coins And we have the four swords. On the bottom of the deck, we have judgment in reverse. Excuse me. Y'all, this ain't going to take long. This is basically, things were going really bad in the connection. Not sure what your imbalance is. You know what it is. Whatever it was that caused you not to want to continue with this person, whatever decision you had to make in regards to this person, you chose to be single. I feel like you guys, <clears throat> excuse me. First of all, my voice just went away. I feel like you guys didn't speak your truth. I feel like you guys held a lot of things in with this four of pentacles. You held back. You stayed in this connection and you held back. Four of swords. You guys were stuck. You held back. You didn't speak your truth. You didn't speak your truth about what you needed out of this connection. You didn't speak your truth. And this person wasn't able to deliver this ten, ten of Pentacles with you. This person wasn't able to deliver this Ten of Pentacles. And I have judgment on the bottom of the deck. So guys, the last card of the Major Arcana is the World card. And Judgment is just before the world. But we have Judgment in the reverse. You guys weren't able to finish what you started with this person. And you told them, you know, I'm not finishing. I'm getting ready to get on this boat and ride off into the sunset. We have a tower moment. You guys have a tower. We have the Three of Cups. Justice in reverse, the Eight of Coins in reverse, the Knight of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have Death in reverse. Lots of ending cards here, lots of separation cards, guys. But I saw you, I see you guys, there was an interruption here. There was something that changed the course of your life. It interrupted your day to day. You know, you had an epiphany. You finally um, were able to see a situation for what it was. Possible third party energy. But this just can indicate discord between you and your person, you know. We have justice in the reverse. You guys couldn't bring 
things back together. You couldn't work things out here. You tried to, you tried to put in the work, but whether or not you put in the right work, whether or not, you know, there was some additional steps that needed to be taken, whatever it was, your person again may have possibly been dealing with other people with this Knight of Cups coming out. But I feel like this person, they weren't what you needed. I don't feel like they gave you the commitment that you needed, Sagittarius. I have the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse. All right, let's go in and clarify a few cards. I don't need to clarify everything, but we will go in and clarify a few things. All right. Tell me about this chariot and this nine of coins in reverse with the 10 of cups in reverse. What is all the sadness and discord about What's causing Sagittarius to not want to move forward with this person? I have got the Ten of Pentacles again, guys. Three of Swords, some type of heartbreak, sadness, grief. Possible backstabbing, painful ending. For some of you, you may even have children with this person with all these Pentacles coming out. I just see this has been a hard relationship. I got the nine of wands and the ten of cups in reverse. And I'm clarifying the ten of cups, the nine of pentacles in reverse in a chariot. Nine of wands talks about boundaries. The two of you not respecting each other. Boundaries having arguments. Someone feeling defensive. Someone feeling like they have to set boundaries. Tell me why this nine of coins is in reverse with the chariot in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse. Temperance. Four of Pentacles again, guys. Six of Cups. I feel like you guys held back. Again, like I said, with my voice going out, that's the throat chakra. There was a block with your throat chakra. There were some truths that you weren't speaking. There were some truths that you weren't speaking. Possibly truths that could have brought your relationship back into balance, guys have the tower, have judgment, and the seven of cups. Hmm. Your person, again, could have been given to other people here. Some of you guys have been together a little over a year. For others of you, you may have even been here, been with this person for 10 years. But what I'm seeing here, guys, is I'm seeing that, you know, that you have the tower twice, guys, in the reverse. So this has come out twice. So this is something that you try to avoid, but you made up your mind now. You're no longer confused. I have the nine of pentacles, and that's what I'm clarifying, guys, in reverse. I have the world in reverse and the king of pentacles. With the Empress. That's you guys. The relationship not being balanced. Out of balance. I just think that you guys tried it. Tried to work on it. And it just didn't work out. Alright. Tell me about. This justice in reverse. Why is justice here in reverse? For Sage. Have the Five of Pentacles. And that's my rejection card, guys. Some of you may have felt rejected by your person, or you may have ghosted your person. On the bottom of the deck, I have a Knight of Wands. Mr. Charisma. Mr. Everybody wants the Knight of Wands. Mr. In and Out can't commit to things, can't finish what he starts. Could be a she. Tell me about this tower. Okay, the tower, I have the King of Cups coming out. 
Something about the tower. Something to do with love. Not moving forward in love. The fool in reverse. Someone, this king of cups could have been foolish. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the tower in reverse. The Sag. Page of Wands in the reverse. Your person took the wrong actions. Your person could have been out here giving his little, his or her wand out to other people. Six of Swords in reverse. So that's why I wanted to leave, but I just couldn't leave. I I was holding on to this person. Sagittarius, you're holding on very tightly to this person. But what I'm seeing here is with the tower being in reverse, one of two things happened. Either things really went out of whack with you guys. Like there was a major shit show here. Things could have been like, I mean, just, just horrendous. Or either you guys are trying to avoid the shit show and you keep holding on, you know, knowing that you need to leave with the Six of Swords, but not able to leave. Especially with this retreat coming out, the honeymoon, dis with discipline coming out, I feel like you just do it. Like you're in a routine. You just probably go to work. You come home but you're not being honest about how you really feel in the relationship. Anything else about this tower? Page of Swords, lies. Something you're not clear on here. Possibly also indicating that you need to cut this Queen of Wands off. This is, actually this is your energy, Sagittarius. So that you could be cutting this King of Cups actually off. But you love this person. You're very attracted to this person. And they are very attracted to you. I see you, Sagittarius. You're a hard worker. You're very disciplined. But at times you hold yourself back. I just saw the Eight of Swords. Okay, I see what this is. So I don't think this has happened yet. I think this is here because someone is wanting to leave, but they're not speaking their truth. Two of Pentacles. This person has to defend themselves a lot of the time. And I think this is you, Sag. I think this is you as this Queen of Wands having to defend yourself. Having to defend yourself. I feel like you have conversations with your person and you tell them, you know, I'm not foolish. I know you are lying to me and I know that there are times where you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And if you keep this up, I will leave. I, that's what I just heard. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Sag. Why is the Knight of Cups here? What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so Sag, for some of you, you are involved with the water sign. That's Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But even though you love your person a lot, you really want to be single with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. You really want to be single. <clears throat> but I feel like for some of you, your person wants to get married i just saw the six of wands on the bottom of the deck tell me about this knight of cups this knight of cups could be a proposal but we'll see we'll see which cards come out sag why is this knight of cups here we have the five of swords you're fighting it you're fighting three of pentacles do i put in the work do i want to be connected with this person ace of pentacles Justice in reverse and the Eight of Wands. Oh, Lord. And the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So, guys, I think this is about a, an offer. This is about taking a relationship to the next level. For some of you, this is, you know, I want to be monogamous. I need more out of this. What are we doing here? For some of you, this is I want to be married. We already have children together. Why aren't we getting married? You know, 
I love you. You love me. Why aren't we doing this? I don't know why, Sagittarius, but you're holding back from your person. You're stopping this offer of offer this off. I cannot talk, guys. This opportunity from coming in because you don't you don't want it. You want to be single. I feel like not only do you want to be single, you kind of want to, you know, mingle a little bit. And I think you go back and forth with that. To be honest with you, Sag, I think that you are kind of ready to be in a committed relationship, but it's not this person. This person doesn't give you that feeling of wanting to go all the way. I think I, I'm getting an energy here that you are staying out of obligation. I feel like you stay because there are children involved here or it's something about this person needs me. I have to be here for them. That's what I just heard. But I really don't want to be here. I see an ending, guys. I just don't see things coming into balance. I see you guys trying to bring things into balance with this tip two of pentacles, but it's a burden. I feel like you're working really hard, Sag. This is your energy. I feel like you are really working. And I don't mean just on this relationship. I think that you're putting in a lot of hours at work and you have a lot going on. I feel like you're at work and you come home and then you have home issues to deal with. Your home is out of order. I have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Swords. I am stressed the hell out. And I'm tired of sitting in that energy and I'm getting ready to take this sword and cut your ass off. That's what I'm getting ready to do. With this Queen of Swords being a reverse, guys, this is an ugly negative energy. I don't know if this is your person, Sag, or this is your energy, but somebody is being really ugly here. And there's no need to be ugly. So if that is you, Sag, please don't do that. I feel like there are arguments here. There's, there's no meeting of the minds but you have hope you have faith though Sag if I'm being honest you have hope here but it's something that you're holding back it's something that you're con you're conflicted about internally with this five of wands but this person stresses you out I feel like you lay in the bed and like you know you're like can I really see myself finishing with this person I feel like you hold back at times Yeah, I feel like this person tries to come in and love on you. And this could be your energy, Sagittarius. I feel like you're very cold and withdrawn from your person. I just don't think that you want them anymore. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse. You're ready to move on. Chariot, you're ready to make a decision to move on. And get back control of your life. Move forward. I have this ending. I have death here. And I have the sun in reverse. With the world in reverse. I could keep picking cards. But I don't really need to. This is just someone not, not leaving. For whatever reason. Let's get some messages from. The messages of love. Tarot deck. Before we go, Sagittarius, can I get messages for Sag, please? I just saw second chance and lesson. Second chance and lesson. I feel like you guys keep going in cycles with your person. You keep giving second chances. Messages for Sag. All right, Sag, we have finances. Financial challenges are affecting the connection. Again, you could have children with this person, so you have to take that into consideration. You guys may live together, so you have to take that into consideration. Sagittarius, I'm just getting the energy here that you are the one um, that's the primary breadwinner in the family. I'm not saying that your person doesn't work here. I think that they do work, but I think primarily you are the provider here and i have balance one person is not giving one person is giving too much in this relationship that's the energy of this nine of pentacles in reverse giving too much 
And I think that's you, Sag. It's not balanced. Doing the most is the energy of the Nine of Pentacles. Possibly investing, you know, my time and my commitment in the wrong person where it's not turning out to be successful for me. We have fate. This is a destined partnership. Some of you could be with a soulmate. I have lesson. It came back out. This person is your is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. That could be why this is a destined partnership. You're supposed to learn a lesson from this person. This person is unable to give you all that you deserve. I got unavailable. They can't give you what you deserve. Let's get one more. We have self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. You need to clear your energy, Sag. I think that, you know, you guys are taking each other to a place that you don't need to go. I think, you know, you guys are bringing out the worst in each other. Spirit's telling you to pull back a little bit. Clear your energy so that you can focus on what is best for you with this temperance. On the bottom of the deck, I have mastery. You've learned a spiritual lesson. You guys, lesson, 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 spiritual lesson. There is a lesson that you were supposed to be getting out of this relationship. I hope you got it, guys. I hope you got it. Okay, so for those of you who will be making a decision to separate, you may not even know it yet because in your heart, you may feel like you're here. You're committed. You're going to put in the work, but I feel like there is going to be a separation here, but just keep an open mind, guys. Just keep an open mind. Just have faith and just go with the flow. Don't hold back just because of the cards that have come out here. If you feel like you want to express your love to your person, then you do just that. Because whatever happens, guys, <laughs> the right thing is going to happen. The right thing is going to happen. All right. So if you are here and you have not done so already, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take just a second to give me a thumbs up. Sagittarius, I hope that you enjoy the rest of the week and I'll catch you for your next read.